it's crazy to think about how much has changed since I've been gone. You know, seeing the amount of individuals that have been affected by all the gun violence that has been plaguing the streets of Beaufort for a while now, you know, it's actually crazy. The sound of the family, family members were drinking and on as the the has claimed the lives of three individuals. It's not just the victims of, you know, the criminal situation in Viewfort. It's not just the perpetrators. It's also the people who live in Viewfort. Our children, what we consider the future of today, they have to live in this kind of environment, leaving it traumatized, but yet still, they're treated like everyone else on island. They have to write the same exams. They have to do the same amount of work, but they have this extra burden. We have real students who have been through heartache, students who have watched their family members, their friends get gunned down, right? And all they see is this crime. All they see is this, this difficult place that I am from. Um, and it's, it's hard for them to, to have dreams or aspirations beyond their community. Outside of the community, to enjoy so many things that they love than doing it right at home. You have guys that you know, just the walk from their house to the court is now like you know, you're taking a, a really big risk. And that doesn't make any sense, you know. And I, not to throw shade on like certain federations, you know, because I feel like they're not doing enough to like help the, the situation either. Instead of like you know working with guys from the community, figuring out a way to get more involvement, you know, around the sport they kind of just shun that area and they're not really trying to help. And I, I don't see, I, I haven't seen anybody talking about trying to help. You know, all I see is that guys complaining and then, you know, whoever has like interest in the Federation will come and say, no, well, that, y'all don't know what's going on, all kind of puppies are like, no, we don't care about that killer. You're not trying. You have to, you, y'all, all y'all do is talk from y'all, y'all offices, wherever y'all are, say that y'all have these limitations, but you're not actually coming and see what's going on. See, y'all not trying to figure out a way to actually make things work, and that doesn't make any sense. I don't like that. If they just use it the ocean as a passport, we have the biggest fishing complex in the Caribbean. What are they doing? Yes, that's In the new international airport, what are they doing? Yes, they have all the media, everything is going gas. We're with the representative of the world. We're committed to making these developments happen and to improve the plight of solutions in the South. The people in the South have suffered for too long. They've been, they've lost the ability to dream. They've all become cynics. If you're trapped in this, in a box, or let's say I trap you in this room and there was no windows, nothing else, and it was a soundproof rule. You had no, you had no perception of the outside world. You had no perception of the birds outside chirping or how wide and the variety of, of this earth. You had no perception of this and you were just in this room. Could you imagine a river? Could you imagine a waterfall? You were raised in this isolated room that has insulated itself from everything else happening in society. And to a point where society itself has isolated that community has isolated this space. How do you expect them to share the same thing?
our youth get involved in violence because they themselves are victims of a system. A system that traumatizes, has traumatized our youth from generations and continues to traumatize them in a psychological way such that they, they have a, almost a don't care, a pamele attitude to life, to their life and to other lives. And that is born of significant trauma. How do you address that? Creating that positive environment, creating that trauma sensitive environment, understanding these youth, how they think and what needs to happen. And that is what we can do in Viewfort with your help. And that's what we've started doing. But that is not an easy road. It is a continuous process because you cannot just say that and walk away. You have to be there with them the whole way.